been a little while since I've done anything much in the way of witch crafty on my channel, so uh, I figured today I would share with you a little craft, an actual craft, um, that I'm preparing for my workplace. Now, I work in retail, um, and it's December. And for anyone in retail, whatever you do, December tends to be a month of shoot your face off stress, <laughs> to put it lightly. So before I begin anything to any retail workers out there who are feeling the pinch and the stress and the agony that this month and the holiday season brings, I feel you. I've been there. I'm there right now. Um, you will make it through. Okay? You can do this. I promise. So as a way of showing my appreciation for my workmates and to sort of keep the spirits high, I decided I would make what's known as a witch's ball. It's essentially a sort of enchanted bauble made out of just one of these. Often glass, but this one's just plastic. Um, Christmas holiday bauble that witches will fill with herbs and items and things that represent their intention. Um, obviously it doesn't have to just be for work mates, of course. Um, you fill them with whatever. Uh, you can hang them around your own house, you can send them out as gifts. Um, I made one for uh, some friends of mine who got married last year and are now expecting a baby very very exciting so i made one filled it with intention for happy marriage happy home life and fertility uh that's not happening in this one today so <laughs> thank goodness instead i'll sort of talk you through the steps of how i go about planning yeah cool so first things first is you need to get yourself one of these so yeah this literally just came from wilco um you can get them at like michael's whatever you can use a glass one if you want whatever you want. Um, this one's just plastic because uh, I don't trust myself. No, <laughs> it's just plastic. Um, it's got a little top on. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work to sort of take the top off, but there you go. And I'm going to fill it with items and herbs that support my intention. I work as part of a team, so I want something to represent and encourage teamwork. Um, I work for a business, so obviously successful business. Anything money related money to do with obviously earning money. I want the business to be successful, but I also want those I'm working with to be earning money. I want them to be stable. I want them to be financially successful. So teamwork, prosperity, and money. So I did a little bit of research and um, some of the books that I turned to for research, especially when it comes to herbs. Uh, now I'm a, I'm a green witch, so a lot of my spell work involves herbs. Not everyone's does. A lot of a lot of people just use crystals, or they might use um, food, or whatever else you want. Um, I mostly use plants and herbs. Um, that's just where I feel the most powerful. I guess that's where I feel my magic the most. Um, so one of the books that I turn to is Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. Another book I turn to for research is this one here called The Witch's Companion by Soraya. This reads as well more like... Um, a bit like a textbook. It does have some sort of more just reference pages. Uh, but it also has entries about each of the sabbats and um, suggested rituals and um, crafts and that kind of thing. But good for reference, I think. So really, you can put whatever you want in here. You don't have to follow the rules. You don't have to follow the rules. Make up your own rules. As long as whatever you're putting in here means something to you, and you have filled it with your intention. It all comes from in here and in here. That's what charges it. That's what makes it a magical object. 
Yeah. So I'm going to start by putting in some cedar for protection, but also for prosperity. Cedar is one of my favorites to work with um, because of how it looks, how it feels, how it smells, how it burns. I'm going to put quite a bit on this. Ooh, quite a bit of it in here to sort of serve as like a like a foundation layer, you know? Gonna take a little moment to charge it. And just sort of wanna imagine the outcome of what you're intending. I'm imagining good business. I'm imagining good numbers. See what you want to see. Nice and smiles as well. Next, I'm gonna add some pieces of orange. That is for good fortune more financial success, but also just in general, general good luck that we can make it through each day, come out on the other side. So I'm going to add some chamomile buds to it as well. Chamomile will hopefully help us keep level-headed, as well as some lemon balm to hopefully reduce tension, reduce stress, promote happiness. It's tough. <laughs> Takes a lot of imagination. It's gonna be a little tricky to pop these in here, but we'll see what I can do. Some blackberry leaves as well financial success for money. We all be able to pay our rent. I'm also going to include a cinnamon stick. I feel like those are not only seasonally appropriate, but they smell great. Mm. And they represent success, sort of general all over the board success. So, pop one of those in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of these in. The gold stars are representing my teammates, all of us individuals coming together, working as teamwork, you know? But each of us, brilliant and shining on our own. It's looking a little flat right now. How am I gonna perk this up? <laughs> Maybe I'll do one more leaf. If I can. I'll take a little bit of poking and prodding. Maybe I'll do. pretty good to me. <laughs> it's got a bit mushed about, but that's what's going to happen. <laughs> a lot of the time people... I feel good about that. Yeah, I feel good about that. Um, it looks like not much at the moment, does it? <laughs> but I know it's all in there. I know it's important. There's all my gold stars down the bottom. Right. I'm going to pop the top on here. Um, this is not very secure as is. I'm going to decorate it a little bit more. I'm going to wrap some twine around here, secure it all down, and maybe maybe add a little charm or something. All right, and here is the finished result. I added some gold glitter and twinkle just to make it a little bit more festive. I know that the folks at work would really like that. Um, and some twine secured with some hot glue um, to make sure it doesn't fall apart. And also some twine up here so that I can hang it in our staff room. So you can still see the pieces of orange and the cinnamon sticks in there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Whether or not people will totally understand what it is, I'm sure the sentiment will still come across. And uh, 
yeah, just a nice little something for the season and to hopefully encourage, encourage some good stuff at work. In the past, witches' balls were intended to be made by non-magical people to ward off and keep away witches. But then I guess the word kind of got mixed into witchcraft, and so then they were made by witches in turn. I'm not really sure. The folklore is a little bit mixed from my research anyway. That's all for now. Uh, let me know if you're going to make one of these yourself or if you've made one in the past. And let me know of any other crafty things you'd like to see, um, magical or non-magical. And that's going to be it. So thank you so much for watching. Take excellent care of yourselves and each other. Especially this time of year, it's, it's rough out there. Stay magical, stay groovy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.